God, our Savior, our King. He is the awesome God. No one can stand before him and no one has the power that he has because he is the creator of all. So join us today as we go and worship and praise on today. We thank you for joining us in the sanctuary. We thank you for joining us on social media. We are Apostolic Doctrine Evangelist to Church. Our goal is to share Jesus, pastorally reach him, seek him, and do his will. We thank God for today for just coming in to join us. And as we, before we get started to go into praise and worship, we're just going to have a scripture and then following that, a prayer. Thank God. Everyone is here today. And our scripture is going to be coming from the 89th Division of Psalms. And it reads, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. We thank God for the reading of his word. And again, it's something that we hear to do to give worship and praise God. Not only with our acts, but also with our mouth. We ought to shout yes. unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. We honor you on today, Lord. We come before you as vessels willing to do your will and to be your servants. Lord, we ask that we will decrease right now, that you may increase, that you take precedence, hallelujah, on today, Lord, that we may be fed from man on high, Lord Jesus. But before we proceed any further, Lord, we want to ask for your forgiveness. Anything we said, done, that has not been pleasing unto you, because we want our prayers and our worship to be a sweet and smelling flavor unto you, Jesus. Lord, as we go before you in the, in the beauty of holiness, and boldly before the throne of grace, Lord Jesus. We ask that you sit in here, hallelujah, that your praise, that your presence reign strongly, hallelujah, that you get the glory and the honor, hallelujah, that every song, every worship goes up to you, Lord. We thank you and we praise you, Lord Jesus. In this hour, hallelujah, we ask that you will bless those who are coming back from the convocation, hallelujah, that you will give them traveling mercy, hallelujah, that there will be no accidents, hallelujah. As you take them there, hallelujah, safely bring them back again to us safely, Lord Jesus. We ask, hallelujah, that you'll pray and bless the, the ones who are sick, the ones who are in search of your healing, the ones who have mental problems, hallelujah the ones who need a financial blessing, hallelujah, the ones who are homeless, hallelujah, the ones who are destitute, hallelujah, the ones who do not know that you are God, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you and we praise you right now. We ask everything in your name, hallelujah. We ask for our daily manner, hallelujah. We ask for your provision, hallelujah. We ask for your blessings on today, that we may go forth, hallelujah, that we may be standing before you as the sons and daughters of Christ, as the ambassadors, hallelujah, of your kingdom, to share your word, hallelujah, so someone may know of you and become saved, Lord. We ask that you'll bless the man of God as he bring forth the word, hallelujah that we may be fed to go back to do your will and your assignment on today, Lord. We thank you and we praise you, hallelujah. We honor your name, hallelujah. We lift your name up, hallelujah. We come against the spirit of silence, hallelujah. There will be no silence, hallelujah, in the sanctuary today. There will be praise, hallelujah, unto your name, hallelujah. For we are here to worship you in the beauty of holiness. We thank you, we praise you, we honor you and glorify your name. For you are our Savior, our Deliverer, our, deliverer, our King, our all in all. We declare and decree all of this in your name. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. amen. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank God on today, Lord. We thank him. And because we are here, we are coming to adore his name. So help us as we sing this song. Oh, come, let us adore him. 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 Christ the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore you. Oh. Oh 
So we came to magnify the name of our God, for the Lord is worthy, amen. We adore him on this morning. Praise God. Amen. Heaven of God is a great God. Amen. He is a great God. There is none like him in all the earth. Amen. He is, amen. His wonder, amen. His power spans the universe. Amen. amen. There is none like him in all the earth. Amen. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, we sing how great, how great is our God. Oh, sing with me, sing with me how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Always oh, sing how great, how great is our God. You're the name, you're the name above all names. You are worthy of praise.
our announcements in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our announcement as follows. Today convenes the International Assembly, the IG8, and everyone is coming back home with the help of the Lord. Also, Sunday service starts at 10 a.m. On Tuesday night, we do have Bible study, and that starts at 7 p.m. On this coming first Saturday will be women's prayer. Now it is 9 a.m. This convenes our um, announcements, but do um, look at the bulletin board um, for the sick and the shut-in as well. Um, please govern yourself according to the announcements and also offer this next. Thank you. So if everyone could stand, we'll come forth and Give our offering. Open the yeah. eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Oh, come. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Lord, I want to see you. Where we going to see you? See, I need it all. Shining in the light of the glory. Pour out your power and love. And we sing holy, 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 holy. holy. Thank you. We thank God for 
Often, Lord God, that you allowed your people to bring it to you today, Lord Jesus. Those that gave online as well, Lord. Bless you to bless this offering, Lord God, and help us help build your kingdom, Lord God. It's the place where you want us to be. In your name, Lord God. Bless the message today, Lord Jesus. Bless the messenger. That you may receive what you have to say unto us, Lord God. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Our next song, it says, Jesus is real. Hallelujah. I have a testimony, and I believe all of y'all have a testimony that Jesus is real. I can think about countless of times that God has proved himself over and over and over and over. Not just countless of times, but as he proved himself daily to us. And you still can't think there is a God. Hallelujah. There is something wrong. Hallelujah. But that's okay. We're standing in the gap for you on today to pray for you that he may manifest and show that he is real and that you may be able to see it. Hallelujah. So help Brother Samson sing the song, Jesus is Real. Hallelujah. That's an old song. Man. Yeah. Way back when. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to give it what we got. Go ahead. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. Come on, Brother Samson. Sing that song. Y'all hear me say, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is real, I, I know, know the Lord, the Lord is real to me. He went out down in the road, nowhere to go. Jesus came along and made me strong, oh, I know. Whoa. Come on, sing with us. Jesus is real, Jesus. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. Oh, yes, he is. Come on, sing with us. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is The Lord is real to me. I know down and feeling low. Nowhere to go. Jesus came along and made me strong. For I know. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus is real. Jesus is real. I know. Come on, sing with me. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. I can I'm down be. and feeling low. Nowhere to go. Jesus came along and made me strong. For I know. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, oh, oh. Is real. Jesus is real. Yes, he's real. 
is real. Oh, yes, he's real. the name of our God. For the Lord this morning is worthy of our prayers. And we bless the name of Jesus. There is no name that is above that name. 
Jesus. Amen. We give him all the praises, glory, and honor on this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going into 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter this morning. 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Amen. Remember, pray for those, amen, who are traveling, amen, back from uh, Virginia on this morning. And the Lord would give them safe passage uh, back home in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're so grateful for everyone who is in the sanctuary, the house of the Lord on this morning. Amen. God bless you. God bless everyone who has joined us by our live uh, streaming, amen, on Facebook and on YouTube, amen, however you are joining us, amen, we're grateful, amen, thank God for, amen, my wife on this morning, amen, lady, amen, Tiffany Myers, amen, we give God praise for her, amen, all the wonderful people of God, we thank God for you, you and you today, in Jesus' name. Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, 6 through the 10th verse, 2 Corinthians 4th chapter, 6 through the 10th verse, it reads, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Amen. We're going to pray, amen, but I want to speak, amen, from a topic this morning, protected by the treasure, protected by the treasure. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for allowing us to come together. We thank you, God, for your presence in this house. We thank you for the worship. God, we thank you, God, for just being with us, oh God, in a special way, God. We pray now that you bless as we go into your word, oh God. Speak to our hearts and to our minds, oh God, that we may receive what you have to say to us. God, I pray now that you help me to decrease, and I pray that you will increase in me now, Lord, that the people might be blessed and that they may be lifted today in Jesus' name. Oh God, and I pray that you are glorified through your preached word. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Protected by the treasure. Amen. The scripture said, that God who command the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts. Give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. This uh, scripture refers to when God in the beginning said, let there be light. We know when Jesus said, let there be light, there was a darkness and a confusion that was in or around the earth. Um, this darkness, amen, was there uh, and there was no form to uh, the earth, amen, and it was pretty much a chaotic uh, scene. Now, there is, this is not explicitly in scripture and so there are people who uh, study these things, um, and and it is it is believed by many that uh, between the creation and then God speaking and saying, "Let there be light," there was something that happened uh, in between that period, even as as 
as there was some form of the earth all already, but there came a chaotic situation. And, and, uh, and, and so there's a gap. There can be many, many years of gap in between there, amen. So uh, there are different verses of scripture uh, that we can go into to uh, try to express that, amen. But I just want to, I want to say, amen, uh, there was a confusion. There was confusion. There was darkness in the earth, amen. Uh, and, and so God came and God began to speak to that darkness and he began to bring light, amen, and the first, one of the first things he does, it says, let there be light. Let there be light. And so, as we look at the scripture here, amen, it, it talks about as God commanded the light to shine out of the darkness, amen. God wants to illuminate. God wants to bring light. Amen. I don't know about you, but if you've ever walked in darkness, there can be a confusion. Amen. You may you may know your house pretty good, but uh, we really still don't really want to walk in darkness. Amen. If our, our eyes have not made that adjustment, we don't want to be in darkness. Amen. Because we don't know what dwells uh, sometimes in darkness. The darkness. I don't know if anybody had ever experienced roaches. But if you have seen a roach, amen, they like darkness. You come in the kitchen or you go somewhere in your house and you turn on the lights. Amen. There is an illumination of something you may not have seen uh, with the lights out. Amen. And the roaches begin to run, amen. They don't want to be seen, amen. They have been illuminated, amen. The light brings illumination. The light brings, amen, a clarity that was not there before, amen. My father, amen, tell the story, amen, of when we would uh, sometime walk, and one night we were walking, uh, it was he and I, amen, we were walking, and we had a dog named Blackie, and Blackie uh, was enjoying the walk with us, amen. Uh, that's when uh, Dry Branch Way was cornfield, amen. And we were walking in the, uh, in, down the road, amen, in the midst of the cornfield, and there was a, a, a shaking in the bushes. And that shaking in the bushes, amen, and Blackie took off. Like it took off, amen. He should have been the one to protect us, amen. But the, that darkness, amen, and that, that sound caused him to flee, amen. And, amen. And we kept walking, and Black was waiting at the end of the road for us. Yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Amen. But darkness, amen, darkness can bring fear. Darkness can, uh, can bring uh, confusion, amen. Darkness, amen, is a place, amen, that we really don't want to be, amen, unless we're sleeping, amen. But we don't want to try to function in the darkness, amen. So, so God had to bring light, and he has to bring light into the darkness, amen. He is the light of the world, amen, and he has brought the light, amen, into us. That light, amen, is brought out in scripture, amen. That light, amen, is uh, it is a that, and that that uh, it is a treasure to us. It is a it is a knowledge to us. And so God, He has commanded the light, amen, to shine in our hearts, amen. We have been in darkness, amen. But thank God, now we walk in the light. We walk in understanding, amen. Lord, help our understanding now because we have the light, amen. And when you have the light, amen, the light is uh, uh, attractive, amen. The, the light will, will draw, amen. The light is able to draw, amen. If everybody else is, uh, is, is in darkness, amen, and somebody brings out the flashlight, amen, that is where the people want to be, amen, so that they too can be illuminated, so that they also can now see, amen. God has brought the light, amen, into us to shine in our hearts, amen, and through our hearts. It is the knowledge of God. It is directional, amen. We provide direction. We provide illumination, amen. We are attractive, amen, because of the light, amen, that we, we hold on the inside of us, amen. And we'll break with that God said, let there be, amen. God has caused it to be. It is not your light, but it is, it is a light of God, amen. It illuminates from him and it shines through us. 
It's as if, amen, you know, the sun is the light, amen. We have, we have moonlight, but the moonlight is only a reflection of the sunlight, amen, the sun, amen. And so the moon, amen, is not its own light. It is not its own reflection. It does not carry its own light like that, amen. Uh, but, but the moon carries, amen, and it reflects to us, amen, the light that comes from the sun, amen. And as, as it is uh, with the sun and the moon, amen, we, we reflect, amen, we, we illuminate, amen, we shine forth the light that is of God. It is not of yourself, amen. So don't get it mixed up, don't get it twisted. This light is not of yourself and God has caused it to shine in our hearts, amen, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ, amen. He did it through Jesus Christ. Christ, Amen. And so, so we have this in us. We have uh, he has brought it in us. Amen. We have been given light and understanding. Amen. So ask the Lord, Lord, give me, give me even more understanding. And so what has he done? Amen. He has put this light, amen, this treasure. The uh, seventh verse, amen. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. So we have this perfect, we have this, we have this wonderful uh, perfection, this illumination in earthen vessels, amen. When it's talking about earthen vessels, it is talking about something that is fragile. An earthen vessel, amen, if you drop it, it, it breaks, amen, it cracks, it, uh, it, it does not have the strength uh, to, to uphold, but, but, but there has been a treasure place in fragile, amen, in, uh, in these vessels, eh, these vessels that are going to perish, these vessels that get sick, these vessels, amen, even in our hearts, amen, that get off sometimes. We, 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 we have this perfection, amen, on the inside of uh, imperfect, amen, or, or, or earthen vessels, amen. You, you strike me, I hurt. Amen. You you do something to me drastic. Amen. It may take my life. Amen. This is an earthen vessel. Amen. It comes under attack. It comes under pressures. Amen. It comes under pains. But but God has put within this earthen vessel a treasure, a light. Amen. How many know that that the the vessel is not worthy of the treasure that it holds? Say the, 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 the vessel is not worthy of the treasure that it holds. Amen. So, so God has done this. Amen. But we are not befitting of it. I'm grateful to God. I'm going to thank God. Amen. I'm going to thank God, amen, that he put it on the inside of you. I'm going to thank God, amen, that he gave you his power, his anointing, amen. As fragile as you are, your body is, and amen, sometimes as fragile as your very emotions are and how, how you shift, amen, back and forth in your mind sometimes, amen. God has put within this vessel, amen, uh, this earthen vessel, a great treasure, amen, and with that, amen, God has provided the protection. And the Bible says that, that, that this vessel is always under attack. Listen, amen, eight verse. We are troubled on every side. That, 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 that there's something coming at me from behind. Something coming at me from in front of me. Something on, the, on both sides, amen. It's coming at me. Anybody ever felt like you were just about to be overwhelmed by all the stuff that is around you. Amen. Trouble in the home. Trouble in the body. Trouble in the bank account. Trouble on the job. Trouble with the car. Amen. Trouble with the children. Trouble with the spouse. Trouble with parents. Amen. Trouble uh, coming from all angles. Amen. All around. Don't seem like you can get a, a break sometime. But, but, but the Bible says we're troubled on every side, but yet not distressed. So that means that, that there may be things coming from the outside, but the inside is not shaken. Why? Because of the treasure that is on the inside. Amen. The treasure on the inside keeps the stuff that is on the outside. It keeps it, amen, from tearing me down. It keeps me from breaking down. It keeps me from losing my mind. I got something on the inside that protects my emotion, protects my mind, protects my spirit, protects my body. I've got something that no matter what is coming from 
the outside, amen, it's always keeping me on the inside. Somebody might look at you today and say, how are you making it through? How are you getting through it? Amen. How are you able to deal with this and that? Amen. You've got to be able to tell the story. i got something on the inside that, that calls me not to, to succumb to the pressure. Calls me not to, to give in to what's coming uh, from the outside. Amen. Why? Amen. There, there, there is life. Amen. I just talked about that and recently. Amen. That's just life. Amen. We're living in a sinful world. But when it comes to a child of God, I believe we're under greater attack. Why? Because of what we carry. And it can't kill what we carry. Get this, it can't kill what we carry. But it's going to try to destroy the vessel. He's going to destroy the vessel. If he can't kill the Holy Ghost, he can't kill, amen, what God has put on the inside of us. Amen. But he's trying to destroy that vessel. He's come against that vessel. Amen. But praise be to God. Amen. We don't fight, amen, with our own weapons. Amen. Even though he's coming against us, we don't fight with our weapons. Amen. God has given us weapons of warfare that are not called, amen, but they're mighty through God and the pulling down of strongholds. That's the kind of God we serve. That's the kind of vessel, amen. That's the kind of light. That's the kind of power that is on the inside of us, amen. That is what we carry. It is what we're carrying, amen, that's keeping us. Yeah, you under attack. But God is our keeper. We're protected saints by what is on the inside of us. It is the vessel. It is the vessel. God is doing something. God is keeping me. It's not about me. It's about what God is able to do. Amen. So we're troubled. Amen. Saints on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Amen. We are persecuted, but not Forsaken. How many thank God that even though things come against you, man, God is with me. He is with me. As long as God is with me, amen, there's nothing that can overtake me. Amen. So you got the baddest man in town. Amen. I don't care. I don't care what game come against you. Amen. You got the baddest one in town. You got the you got the man in town. Amen. He it ain't nobody beat him. Amen. Nobody can't touch you. Amen. They got to come through him before they get to you. Amen. They got to go through Jesus. They got to go through the Holy Ghost before they can break through to you. Amen. So I'm gonna always put him in the front. I'm gonna I'm gonna lift my head up. I'm not gonna retreat. I'm not gonna run. I'm not even gonna be afraid. Why? Because of who I've got in. Side. I've got somebody standing with me, amen. So he never leaves me. He never forsakes me, amen. Even when I don't feel him, I'm not God is still with us. He's still with us. Amen. So, so we're persecuted, but we're not forsaken. He does not leave us. We're, we're cast down. Amen. You, uh, sometimes things will get thrown down. Amen. We talked about that earthen vessel that hits the ground. But, but if this earthen vessel has, amen, the, the treasure on the inside, amen, God won't let it break. He won't let it break. Amen. Why? Amen. Because, amen, he is invested in it. Amen. He does not allow it to be destroyed. Amen. Destroyed. Amen. The enemy is not able to destroy for a child of God. Amen. As long as we put out what is on the inside of us. Come on. So as long as we carry something on the inside, we're relying on what is on the inside. Amen. Amen. See, sometimes we rely on our own power. But within you, amen, you don't have the power within yourself, amen. It, it is not the power that is in the vessel, amen. Yes, the vessel is under attack, but the power is not in the vessel, amen. The power is held within, on the inside of the vessel. It's the power that's on the inside of the vessel, amen. Can I give you an illustration? Can I give you an illustration this morning? Come on, somebody. Can I give you an illustration, amen? I got a, got a vessel here. Got a vessel here. You know what I can do with this vessel? Oh. I just crushed the vessel. It has nothing in this. There was nothing in this. It's thin plastic. It's, it's nothing, nothing, nothing. But I got another vessel. This vessel got something in it. Okay. Same material. Same kind of vessel. It's bigger, but it, 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 same thing. 
Yes, sir. But it's something in there. Yes, sir. Some ice in there. It's ice. Huh? It's some ice in there. I can't do. Can anybody else think you can do something? I did. Let me see. Can't do it. I can't do it. Why? Because something in it, y'all. There's ice in there. Why? Listen, I can't question because of what's in it. I can't. I can't do anything with it because of what's in it. Come on, that's how. That's how we are, saints. Yeah, the, the vessel of itself, it has no power. It has no power. It's got no weight to it. No problem, but the vessel that has the ice, the vessel that is filled, the vessel that is supplied, the vessel that has the treasure. No matter what I do with my body, I can't crush it. I believe if I stomp it, it still won't crush. I believe if I throw it, it still won't crush. I can do all kinds of things to it. But it won't crush. It won't break because of what? Because of something on the inside. Because of what is contained on the inside. Yes, I'm a fragile vessel, but I'm carrying something. How many thank God for what you're carrying this morning? How many glad you're carrying something? You're carrying, amen, something on the inside. Amen. Listen, I'm almost done. Amen. But the 10th verse. Amen. It lets us know always bearing, being uh, uh, bearing about in the body. The time of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Amen. We're always bearing since the dying what Jesus went. Amen. And the Bible always tells us, amen, that we ought to die to ourselves. Amen. We ought to die to self, to our will, to our, our way, to our knowledge. Amen. We take on the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So as we, amen, destroy ourselves, amen, in that sense, amen, that which is greater comes up in us. Amen. It manifests even greater. Amen. So we give over more. Amen. And we're tying uh, to the flesh all the time. Amen. Always bearing in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus is always in our minds. Amen. Because we always want the treasure to shine. Amen. We don't want we don't want the vessel to shine. Amen. This is an earthen vessel. Amen. This is a fragile vessel. Amen. But if I can put forth, amen, that which is uh, eternal, that which is powerful, amen, that, that great treasure that is on the inside of me, amen, that treasure is going to make sure that the vessel is taken care of, that treasure is going to make sure, amen, there's protection for the vessel, amen, and so, so even though all these things are coming from the, from the outside, amen, yes, they're going to pressure you. Yes, they're going to squeeze you. Yes, they're going to, to come against you. Amen. They're going to, to persecute you, but they're not going to be able to destroy you. Why? Because I got something on the inside. And I'm depending on what is on the inside. Amen. And listen, saints, if you are dying to yourself, amen, the devil can't kill you. Look at somebody say, you can't kill what's dead. The other Jacob used to say, you can take a dead man and pinch him. You can, you can punch him. You can do all. You can do whatever you want to do to him, but you won't, you won't hurt him because he's already dead. Amen. See, when you're dying to yourself, amen, there's not much the enemy can do against you. Amen. He's got to fight. With, against that which is life, amen. That which is alive, and that which is alive in me is Jesus, amen. It is the treasure. The treasure, amen, has the preeminence. The treasure has the power in my life, amen. The treasure, amen, has preeminence in my life, amen. So, so I'm always caring about uh, in my body the time of the Lord Jesus, amen. That the life also of Jesus might 
be made manifest in my body, amen. That in this vessel, that Jesus, the life of Jesus is made manifest. Amen. See, when you come at me, you come at Jesus. When you come my way, amen, you got to run into Jesus. You're not going to run into my flesh. And you're not going to get down into my feelings. You're not going to get on my nerves. What you're going to do is you're going to run into Jesus. Amen. When you come across me, what you're going to see is Jesus. You're not going to get me on my bad side. You're going to run into Jesus. Amen. I'm going to always treat you like Jesus is going to treat you. I'm not going to treat you in my flesh. Yes, in my flesh, I might put you in your face. In my flesh, I might tell you off. In my flesh, I might resist you. In my flesh, I might reject you. But when I'm walking in the Spirit, I'm going to do what Jesus does. In my flesh, I might fail you. But when I'm walking with Jesus, I'm going to stand up right. When I'm in my flesh, I'm going to get depressed. But in the name of Jesus, and with the treasure, I'm going to have joy. I'm going to have joy. I'm sweet of the joy and full of glory. Yes, Lord. I'm not going to walk in my flesh. In my flesh, I'm going to get mad. In my flesh, I'm going to doubt. In my flesh, I'm going to beat you up. But in the name of Jesus, I'm going to turn the other cheek. Come on. Somebody. Come on. I'm going to, I'm going to lift up the name of Jesus. I'm going to tell you what the word of God says. In my flesh, I'm going to give you my opinion, which may fail you, which may be wrong. But in Jesus, in the power of the Holy Ghost, in the power of the treasure that is on the inside of me. My answer is going to be above. My answer, my instruction is going to be above. How many thank God you're protected by the treasure? Come on, I'm protected by the treasure. I'm protected by the treasure. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Yes, God, God made that car not hit me. Because I got a treasure. God made me not succumb to that illness because of the treasure. God made me not lose my mind when I lost that job. Why? Because of the treasure. I got a piece on the inside. Everything is not all right, but I got a piece on the inside. Why? Because I'm relying on the treasure that is on the inside. Amen. We got a treasure saint in all the blessings. I got protection. I got protection. Hallelujah. How many want God to shine through? God give us a certain wisdom. God give us a certain knowledge. But the answer that comes from the Holy Ghost is always right. Lord, what are you saying? Lord, what you doing? What you want me to do? What path you want me to take? Come on, Jesus. I need your direction. Thank you for the knowledge. Thank you for all of that. Amen. But Lord, I need your direction. Thank you, Jesus. Help me to know who to give to. Help me to know who to withhold from. Lord, help me to know what to do, when to do. Lord, when they talk about me on that job, help me not to go in on them. I mean, not to bring them out. Help me not to tell their business. Lord, help me respond with your response. Hallelujah. I mean, thank God for the treasure.
in earthen vessels. Don't you know if the devil had his way? He'd be crushed right now. You'd be crushed. But praise be to God. We got treasure in our investment. Everybody stand on your feet. See, we, we normally, we, we, if we have a treasure, what do we do? We hide the treasure. We protect the treasure. We don't want people to have the treasure. What if I come to your house, amen, and I look under your mattress? Is that where you keep your gold? You hide your treasure because you don't want nobody to take your treasure. But saints, we have a treasure that everybody need to see. And you know what? If they want it, they can have it. Matter of fact, if they want it, we want them to have it. Sometimes we live like we protect, we try, try to protect the Holy Ghost from people. We hold it so tight to ourselves. Because we got a treasure. But I come to tell you, amen, we got a treasure sex that everybody needs to see. And that's what it talks about, amen. We, it, we, it needs to shine. It needs to be seen. It needs to be made manifest. And when somebody try to come and steal from you, that treasure is going to stand up for you. If somebody try to destroy you. Maybe they don't want the treasure. Maybe they don't want others to have the treasure. You know, the devil don't want nobody to have this. The devil don't want nobody, anybody to have this. So he try to dest destroy or come against that vessel. And when he come against that vessel, the treasure on the inside is going to stand up for you. And he won't let it crush you. He won't let it destroy you. He's going to protect you. Hallelujah. So I put myself out there. Somebody say, I love, I'll never love again. I've done something for somebody and I'll never do that again. I'll never do nothing for nobody again. Come on. But I come to tell you, you have been protected by the treasure. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give God praise. Let's give God praise this morning. Jesus. Somebody say, let there be light. Well, I'll bring some illumination to all the confusion now. Bring some light to all the confusion. The world, so much going on in the world. Not only in your life, but in the world, there's so much going on. But if the treasure can come forth, it can bring light in the darkness. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your power. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Thank you, Lord, for the treasure that you put on the inside of us. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you are, all that you're doing, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us. Oh, God, fragile and frail men as we are. Thank you, Lord, oh, God, that you have chosen us these earthen vessels, Lord, and you put within us a great treasure, greatest treasure in the world. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us your power, Lord. Thank you that you're giving us your knowledge and your light in the name of Jesus. Lord, I praise you, Lord. God, for those who feel the, the pressures that are coming from all around, those who are feeling, oh God, that the attack from all around, God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you help us to rely on what is on the inside, God, not our flesh, but help us to depend on what is on the inside of us. God, that when these things come, God, and we're, when we're repressed on every side, Lord, you, you, you stand up for us and you stand up 
in us in the name of Jesus God help us that when we're going through the trouble on every side amen the trouble on every side but Lord we thank you God that we are not distressed we are perplexed but we are not in the in despair we are persecuted but God we know that you're with us we're not forsaken we're cast down but God you don't let us be destroyed God we're still standing because of you, God, and we give the praise. God, we give the glory. God, we give the honor. God, we give it all to you, Lord. We thank you for what you've done. We thank you for what you're doing, Lord. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for the light, Lord. We thank you for all that you are, Lord. We thank you that you're putting in us, Lord. We thank you that you give us power. We thank you that you give us anointing. Thank you, Lord, that you're protecting us all the day long. God, when we lie down and when we wake up, when we try, God, when we're on our jobs, God, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you that we be at the restaurant, God, we're walking on the street. Wherever we might be, Lord, you're with us. Thank you, Lord, that you're carrying about with you all the day long. The death of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that the, the, the life of Jesus now shines in us. Thank you, Lord, that the light, that everywhere we go, God, in the grocery store, that the light is shining in us. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, that even when the enemy comes in like a flood, you are going to lift up the standard. God, you're going to lift up the Lord. You are going to take the pressure. You are going to take the bar, the arm shot. You want to take it on our behalf. God, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We thank somebody. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise. In his house. Come on. Let's give him praise. I praise God that the devil didn't destroy me. He could have killed me a long time ago. He could have destroyed you a long time ago. But praise be to God. Come on, somebody, praise be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, praise be to God. You could have died in that car accident. You could have died with that disease. You could have died, but praise be to God. You could have died with that poison. You could have died, but praise be to God. You could have perished, but praise be to God who is. My protection. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can remain standing before we go. Amen. Anybody who may be viewing us, amen. If you if you want that treasure, it is available. You might say I'm I'm torn. You might say I'm I'm broke down. I've done too much. I've gone too far. I've been this way too long. But the scripture today let us know that God has put within fragile vessels a great treasure. A great treasure. I want to let you know, amen, God will put the treasure on the inside of you. No matter what you've done, no matter where you are right now in life, God is faithful to make you a vessel. Reach out to us. Talk to us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Reach out. We'll try to be a blessing to you. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to dismiss. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, and bless somebody, oh, God, that they might repent of their sins. That they might be baptized in your name. Or that might receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Oh God, even keep now those, oh God, who have that power in the name of Jesus. Be with us, oh God, as we depart this place. Be with those who are traveling right now and watching where they're going to protect them in the name of Jesus. God, keep us until we're able to come together again. These things we ask 
all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let every heart say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus.